Welcome back to In the Garden. I am joined with Jordan from Grange Co-op and today we're talking about bare roots and growing berries and today or not today but right now really is the perfect time to plant these roots to have berries ready for the spring and summer. So Jordan what do we need to know when planting these these guys right here? Sure I know this collection isn't impressive and maybe some new gardeners aren't familiar with the idea of a bare root season, but there's a lot of trees, shrubs, flowers, uh, roses that are available this time of year. They ship without any soil, any extra packaging, but they cost a fraction of what you would pay for for a nice potted up one in summer. And that bare root season is very limited though, because the roots obviously have nothing growing around them, they need to be protected. But I tell folks, you know, come out to your local garden center like the Grange, First nice weekend in January, February, there's a huge option. And what today I wanted to talk about was the cane berries. Uh, a lot of people are probably familiar with at least some of them. Oregon's one of the top uh, exporters of blackberries, raspberries, but you also have tayberries, marionberries, loganberries, boysenberries, this whole family of berries that thrive in this region. Right, yeah, so you guys have a lot of options if you kind of go this route. And now, of course, if you plant them in the wintertime, you know, they'll naturally get watered by the rain and everything. But other than that, like what about fertilizer? I know we have some over here to, to take care of these. Sure. Later in the season, we'll definitely talk more about how you should be treating and taking care of a mature crop of this. But if folks are opting for the bare root uh, option this time of year, the biggest thing they should be concerned about is, is the soil going to be ready when they work them? So for your cane berries, a lot of organic matter, have your irrigation down. These aren't water-wise plants and they need to have adequate water while the fruit is developing. Mm -hmm. If someone feels compelled to fertilize, a low and slow fertilizer, something organic, something slow release. Beyond that, they're not really picky about things, but you do want to keep the roots protected. So if you're not ready to work these into the ground immediately after planting, put them up in a uh, spare pot, some ter cracked terracotta, a nursery pot with some potting soil, aged compost, something to at least keep protected till you're ready to plant them in later in the spring. Okay, awesome. And I know the one thing you did mention was, you know, the blackberries that we have here. The, they are nowhere near comparable to the blackberries you may see down by Bear Creek or kind of by any water source. You know, those are very invasive plants and these are not. Yes, uh, the Himalayan blackberry is what we're all familiar with and definitely the bane of many landscapers. None of these are gonna grow anywhere that vigorous and the berries are gonna be that much better too. This is a great companion to have in your backyard trained against a fence along over an arbor, even have a backyard bramble if you have the room for it, and they're gonna produce for years to come. Awesome, great. Well, if you guys wanna learn more about how to really take care of these bare roots and how to grow your own berries for the summertime, of course, you can go to a Grange Co-op store or you can head to our website, kdrv.com, for more information. Thank you so much for joining us in the garden.